British bank Barclays is in talks about combining its African operations with those of majority-owned subsidiary Absa Group. This move is aimed at accelerating expansion on the continent to catch up with rivals. Barclays acquired a 56% stake in South Africa's third largest bank in 2005, but the two have remained separate entities outside of South Africa. ABN's Ken Kareri caught up with the group CEO, Absa Group CEO Maria Ramos, and sought more details about the deal. Well, you know, we have been at this now for for about a year in earnest. Uh, so what we've been doing is we've been taking all our operations and we've been bringing them together. So we've been pulling people together. We've been bringing operations together. We took the Barclays Africa head office, which was in Dubai, uh, and we moved it to Johannesburg in December of last year. And what that means is that people on the, on the continent that have worked uh, if in Barclays Africa have now been able to work much more closely with colleagues in APSA. Uh, what that, and, and the reason why we've done that is because we, we found that our customers and our clients who are doing business on this continent, irrespective of whether they are based in in Kenya or Uganda or Ghana or South Africa, or actually, in fact, whether they're based in, in India or China or Hong Kong or uh, the United Kingdom or the US, and they want to do business in Africa, want to interact with us in a, a, as one bank. They don't want to deal with us in, in a fragmented way. And we thought the best way to do that is to bring our businesses, to integrate the way we do business, to bring our businesses together. As you just mentioned, Maria, this has been a long drawn process, which I understand started about seven years ago. How will this merger work and where are we at the moment? What started seven years ago was an attempt to do a, a, a merger, a corporate merger of part of the, the, the Barclays Africa business with APSA. And that didn't go very far. What we started last year was this operational integration that I'm talking about. Where we are now is to say, okay, now having gone quite a long way down that, can we take that a step further into a corporate integration? But that corporate integration, that, uh, that opportunity and that process of doing this corporate integration is a, a fresh uh, opportunity, a fresh start uh, to build on the operational integration. We understand that Barclays will remain as the majority shareholder for the combined African operations. How is this going to affect the listed subsidiaries in Kenya as well as in Botswana? We anticipate that, that the, the listings in these markets will remain, uh, you know, Barclays will remain listed in these markets in the same way as we currently are. But we really are very much at the beginning of this process. All that's changing really is at the top of the, it's, it's the Barclays shareholding and not the minority shareholding. You're currently not in Nigeria as well as in Angola and you know these are one of the two fastest growing markets in the continent. Are you looking at expanding your operations in these two countries? It's great for me but it's also great for us to, to be in a part of the world that's growing. All right, so we need, to, we need to build on that, we need to use that, we need to be confident about that, and we need to take the opportunities that come from that. And we need to convert those op opportunities into, into more opportunities. And so, and I, need, I, I want us to be part of that as a bank. So that's, that's important. For us as a bank, this region is an important part of, of our bank, you know. We have, in the, in the southern region, we have APSA as a big uh, pillar of our business. And then in this, in this part of the world, in, in the eastern region, the, our, our business, uh, you know, our growth node and our, and our biggest business is right here, it's in Kenya. And, uh, and we see great growth opportunities here, uh, both, both in our businesses in Kenya, but our businesses in Zambia, We've got good businesses in, in all of the countries we're operating in. Please tell us more about opportunities for organic growth for Barclays and ABSA across the African continent. Well, 
our business is driven by organic growth. So, you know, in, in that organic growth space, we have quite a lot of, uh, we've got a big focus on our corporate and investment banking business because it's, it's an area where um, we have, we, th we believe we are under, underrepresented, where there's lots of opportunity for us to grow and we are putting more resources, more capability, more product in there. And then in financial services, by that I mean insurance, uh, we have, in, we've just opened up a, launched a business in Zambia, um, Zambia Financial Services, and, uh, and we're looking at, uh, at Kenya as the next market in which we will come into.